live from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts for the Frozen Four. Avery Wink alongside me, Ryan Matheny. Ryan, UNO in their first Frozen Four ever, looking for a national championship berth. What do you make of their chances tonight? Well, they've got a really good chance. Uh, you know, they're playing a Providence team very similar to uh, how UNO wants to play. And this has just been an incredible run by the entire hockey team from winning the, the first two games in school history in the postseason. Uh, that's just been incredible. And then they're able to get here to the Frozen Four, be on the national stage. And it's it's been kind of a, a fun week and a half for the team between getting back from South Bend, trying to get ready for the biggest game of their lives, also handling you know all the extra stuff that comes with uh, qualifying for the Frozen Four. So it, it's been kind of a whirlwind uh, week and a half, but uh, I'm looking forward to see the puck drop and seeing some hockey. And we've seen Ryan Massa say this is the most championship-ready team he's ever been a part of. Yesterday, Coach Dean Blaze saying this is the ultimate team he's ever had. These guys really seem like they're made to make it to the national championship. What do you think the keys for them tonight are going to be to get to that national championship and defeat Providence? Well, one of the things is they can't fall into a – there's a trap out there when they're playing Providence. When you play Providence or when you play any team that's similar to you, there's always that pressure of, okay, how do we change and adapt to play with them? And I think Omaha, for the big, the big thing for them – don't adapt. Play how you want to play, and that's you know fast. Get up and down the ice. Use your speed. Uh, use use some of those quick guys and make plays on the ice. And I think if if U and O gets bogged down too much in a game plan of okay, this guy's coming across the blue line. I need to front check him, or or this guy is is in the neutral zone. I need to be on him. Uh, you know, you get bogged down and you lose that creative ability. So both teams are, are even, and I, I really think it's going to come down to you know seeing if Omaha can, can continue to make plays because they've been so good at that all year long. And John Gillies is really going to be the key for the Friars tonight. He's an excellent goaltender, similar to Ryan Massa as far as stats are concerned. But Dean Blaze yesterday saying that he feels like Ryan Massa is more athletic. Maybe Gillies is just a little slower in the crease from side to side. How are they going to be able to exploit this goalie who's been incredible all season? Well, he has been incredible. And, and really all four teams that are here at the Frozen Four have a hot goaltender. And, you know, that's no secret. You get a hot goaltender, you're going to be in the Frozen Four. But with John Gillies and, and yesterday what Dean Blaze was talking about, he said, we're going to have to get tip-ins. We're going to have to find rebounds. We're going to have to just shoot it late and hope you know something goes in they're gonna have to get those those workman like goals you know there's not going to be any uh, any two on one or three on one where they play the tic tac toe like they did against uh, rit that's not going to happen here tonight uh, this is going to be you know for omaha to get goals it's going to be throw it at the net and then rush the net with uh, with some of your bigger bodies and, and try to find a way to poke one in we saw grant gallo against harvard um you know just kind of hacking away at a puck that uh, that eventually got into the net see a lot of that tonight from uh, from Omaha. That's something they're going to have to do. Uh, it's going to be a scrappy game around the crease, and, and John Gillies makes it that way because he does. He shuts off both pipes uh, so well from side to side. Uh, doesn't quite move as well as Ryan Massa, like you were saying, but just uh, the, the technically sound goaltending that he uh, that he has it will make it hard uh, for the Mavericks to, to get one in cleanly. And a sold-out crowd of over 17,500 people will be sitting behind us. What have you made of this arena? It's similar to the CenturyLink. Obviously, it has a bit more history to it. You can see the banners behind us. Boston Bruins have won titles here. The Celtics have won titles here. What's it going to be like when this place is full tonight? We have a lot of Maverick students who have traveled up here in three buses. Providence, not far away from here, a little over 50 miles. So they have the home, uh, home court advantage, you would say. What do you think the atmosphere will play into the game, and how do you think Omaha is going to cope with that? Well, it will be a great atmosphere. Anytime you're getting a Frozen Four event or a Final Four event in any sport, it's going to be a fantastic atmosphere. Uh, one thing that I'll be interested to see is how many fans from that second game, from the North Dakota-Boston game, are going to be in here because you know that we're expecting that game to be absolutely full. So maybe a few fans trickling in early to, to catch this first game might add to the ambiance here. But but yeah, we saw the three uh, the three busloads of students kind of unload here, and that was just incredible to see all that support that's here. The band will be here tonight for uh, for UNO. So it is going to be a fun atmosphere, and 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 like you said, this building has tons of history. I know yesterday when you and I walked in here, I was kind of you know my mouth was wide open just just looking here seeing the yellow seats and you see the Larry Bird statue or, or anything like that. So it, it is an incredible atmosphere and uh, you know I'm excited to see Omaha hockey playing in this incredible atmosphere. Well Puck Drop is going to be at 5.07 Eastern time tonight. You can follow along with us at mavradio.fm 
or by following along with the Gateway at UNO The Gateway.